What's this about dropping eggs? Sounds like you could have a real mess on your hands, to say nothing of the poor eggs. Well, here are some tips for sparing your eggs and your cleaning supplies. When your egg carrying device hits the ground, the impact strikes up with a force. Think of this force like a sudden karate chop. Hiya! Your basic goal here is to spread out the force so it doesn't all strike the egg. You don't want your eggs to move around a lot inside the container either. A loose egg is a messy egg since it can roll or fly onto its container and crack. On the other hand, you don't want your egg too secure either. If your egg can't move about at all, then it will just absorb all of the impact force that hits the container. Heavier objects strike the ground with more force than lighter ones. After all, dropping a basketball on your foot hurts, but dropping a bowling ball on your foot hurts a lot more. So keep your carrier light. If your carrier is really heavy, that just means you have a lot more force to redirect from your precious egg. Think about how different materials act when you strike them with forces. Some materials bend, like straws. Others compress, that is, they get squeezed, like foam and stuffing. Still others snap and break, like pretzels, potato chips, and of course, eggshell. Remember the rules. No parachutes are allowed, and your carrier has to be pretty small. This means you can't really take advantage of air resistance to slow down your carrier. Focus your energy on other ideas.